War elephants are powerful Egyptian cavalry, but are they really as good as people think? They are, after all, slow to train, expensive, and slow moving units. That's what we'll be covering in this video, so when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. War Elephants are a heroic edge cavalry unit trained at a Migdal stronghold, costing 180 food, 70 gold and 5 population each. With a staggering 450 hit points and 14 hack damage, these are definitely some tanky boys. But, are they really that good? First of all, they cost a lot of food and gold. 180 food and 70 gold and 5 population is a hefty toll for one unit. For comparison, cavalry costs 50 food, 70 gold, 3 population, but they only have 125 hit points and 8 hack damage. The camels are, however, twice as fast and won't be able to be kited like the war elephant can if left unmicroed. As you can see, you can easily kite a war elephant because it's so extremely slow, moving at half the speed of those camels. It might be an idea to transport them by rock because you can fit up to 15 of these elephants inside the rock, fly them over hills, water, and so on. Let's continue talking about their weaknesses, as they are tough units, but when fighting against anti-cav units, they are going to struggle. Think Prodromos, Catapeltes, Camori, those types of units will do well against the War Elephant, but the War Elephant has such a large health pool, it's still able to take a good beating. But if you see War Elephants on the battlefield, the best counter is going to be those Spear Infantry type units. Think Spearmen from the Egyptians with the greatest of 50 and Spears on the Horizon upgrade. They will absolutely demolish War Elephants, just look at this. One on one, the Egyptian Spearmen, fully upgraded versus a fully upgraded Elephant will win. Now if you were to take only one unit and fully upgrade the things that change its stats, not decrease the building time, the Spearman is actually slightly more expensive than a fully upgraded Champion Elephant. But, if you consider the fact that the Spearman will kill one Elephant fully upgraded, and you can bash out a couple more for just 50 food and 20 gold, then the Elephant seems like a less logical choice, especially because it costs 5 pop, while the Spearmen only cost 2, meaning you can spam more Spearmen easily. But that's just comparing its weaknesses. Of course, the Elephant has strengths as well, but it just doesn't seem like a very logical choice if you're playing against an opponent that knows its weaknesses, which is Spear-type infantry, including the Halberdiers, if you're a Chinese Civ. Apart from that, it can also be instant killed with any myth unit that has an insta kill mechanic. Just look at this. <laughs> the same can be said for a mummy, also instant killing the elephant regardless of any upgrades. And then finally, of course, the Medusa, also instant killing the elephant. 10 fully upgraded elephants won't do that much against the Titan, and for that reason, they are simply not very effective against the Titan, even though they have a large health pool. Their size is really annoying, actually, also when killing pretty much anything that doesn't have a lot of space around it. They're so big that they take up so much space that the AI struggles to move them around properly. It's just, it doesn't work well. Now, that doesn't mean elephants are bad, in fact, they're extremely good siege units for when you're attacking the enemy base, as they have a 3 times building damage modifier, or bonus. That is huge. But will it beat out a Egyptian catapult fully upgraded? Let's see. Now, the elephant has hack damage, and the catapult has crush damage, and lots of it. Of course, it isn't going to beat out a catapult, especially not an upgraded one, but it was fun to see how quick the elephant destroyed those houses. It definitely isn't bad for a unit with hack damage, and that's because of that modifier. And more importantly, because of its health pool, it isn't a unit that dies quickly, unlike the catapult, which can easily be destroyed once caught out in the open by some units. How about seven of each versus a wonder? And to be honest, the results were quite surprising. The catapults destroyed the wonder in about 22 to 23 seconds. The elephants, however, destroyed it in 31 seconds. That is impressive, for sure. So, we established that the War Elephant is extremely good against buildings, and for that reason it will be good against towers as well. Especially if your opponent is still in the Classical Age and doesn't have the crenellations and boiling all upgrades. Because as soon as your opponent does, 
you're going to be in trouble with your elephants, as the Crenellations upgrade improves the damage against cavalry by two. It's a two times bonus or modifier. So if you put some of these bad boys behind a wall or you wall them off, it's going to do well against these elephants. But if they're left in the open or you don't have any walls to protect your towers, without the boiling or upgrade, as soon as those elephants get into melee distance, it's game over. That being said, with the boiling or upgrade, you're going to do very well against war elephants, especially if you have multiple towers. Now for the record, the elephant I'm using in this particular example is a non-upgraded version. Let's say you have non-upgraded units, which one will be better in terms of cost? About two camels is the same as one war elephant without upgrades. Well, to my surprise, even though the camels or the cavalry does have a 1.75 modifier against cavalry, they uh, still end up losing because the elephant attacks quick and hard. And the camels don't really have that high HP. Even when you're microing the elephant trying to kite it around, the cavalry will still lose pretty much most of the time. So to sum it up, the war elephant is a tanky unit that is good against buildings and good against pretty much all the units in the game, with the exception of myth units, especially the ones with instant kill mechanics and spear type infantry, and Ulfsvark with the swine array upgrade. They are, however, slow to train and very slow in terms of movement, so once they are moving forward towards the enemy base, I wouldn't turn them back, because you won't be able to get back to your base in time to long launch a counter-attack. Camelry, however, are much more strategic cavalry because they have that movement speed. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.